All right, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still in the midst of uh, Alistair Grout's mansion. So let's carry on here. Oh, that's got to hurt. Over here. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Well, come on. Ow. Anybody else? Want some of this? No? All right. Okay. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Man, my computer is running really choppy. I'll be right back. What the hell is going on here? I'll be right back. It's always quick time. It's always quick time. Right. Let's crack on. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Just keeps getting creepier and creepier. So I was showing you guys the mirrors there. You can see the there's nothing behind there. And this is an exact reflection, so go ahead and take these out. Oh crap. Nom 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 nom. It's good for you. Puts air in your chest. Pretty cool, huh? Anyhow. Right. So you want to open this up. That's where we were down there before in the other video. Uh, but you want to come do this candle puzzle too. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process. 
order, however, is only as good as the perception of as the perception thereof. Time is the key that links the two and bears witness their ebb and flow. Freaky, right? So before I hit that, um, basically you gotta get these all lit and hit the middle candle, I think. I have accepted the role of Prinogen for Clan Malkavian. The dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. So named for some supposed vampire father figure of all. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems entirely drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, oh, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. Right, so this, the candle puzzle up there, there's also a book somewhere up on the bookshelves, but I never remember which one it is, so I just kind of toy around with the candle puzzle. You can kind of see it just kind of hammer away and figured it out, but anyway, it opens this bookcase, so let's crack on. Right. This is the electric puzzle, and I'm gonna save it because this thing is kinda... The game's buggy. Very buggy. Uh, I know how to do it, but sometimes the, the lightning likes to arc up and just hit you out of nowhere. So... Come immediately left and hit that. Now you head to the middle here, I think. Yeah, shut that one off. Come through here. And there's a artifact thing here, I think. Yeah. <coughs> Hit this one. And you just kind of follow suit. Make sure you duck, too, because if you go through running here, and you just go all willy-nilly, uh, you're in for a bad, bad time. I think it's this one. Yeah. Come over here to this one. Just make sure you crawl through the lightning arcs. Or crouch, rather. It's that one. Uh, hello. There we go. Forgot that one. Bam! And those doors open. Okay. Creep back down through here. I think it opens a door down this way. 
Yeah. Here we go. Onwards and upwards. Is there... There's a key that we gotta find. Not exactly sure where it's at either. Uh... I'm just trying to find the uh, the hidden loot here. It's somewhere. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of illness or theirs. For the voices are various I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers. They have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording me. Interests of self-preservation. So we're looking for the elevator key that I just showed you. The meat locker key, if you will. That's it right there. Refrigerator key. Make sure you go ahead and take these guys out. Take the blood if you need it. Uh, but definitely kill them. Home run. It never gets old. Right. Now that we have that key, we can go open that up and show the goodies. Um, it's not really necessary, but if you're a firearm user... Why did those disappear? Okay, yeah, I gave it to us. So we got two of the Elder bags. Those, just hang on to those. Those are freaking awesome. But we got uh, four of the other ones. Or three of the other ones, because I had four with me. Um, there's another area in here. If you move these damn box boxes out. thought there was. There's a secret area somewhere. Somewheres. Mm. Maybe it's a door you have to pick. I don't remember! Is it in here? No. Burning up time, Cicero. Good job. I thought there was a room you had. You can pick a lock and it'll give you a chest to refill your ammo or it'll give you um, the actual weapons. Anywho, let's carry on. Hey, hey now, calm down. Oh, really? Thank you, gee, many.
Right. Oh, hello. Ow. Why do you gotta do this to me? Why? Well, come on. Look, I want to dance. You want to dance? Left, left, right, right. Hey, Macarena. This game is so fun. a bunch of cells here. This is the way we're supposed to be going. I want to know where that damn door is at. Is this it? You need a lockpick skill of five. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So let me blood buff up here. We'll open the door. Thank you. Yeah, so here you go. I just like taking those because um, I sell them. You know, money helps. Now, that's the way we came in. Right through the double doors. I don't think there's anything else really in here, no. What's up, dude? Come here. Alright. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save. Let's carry on. Hello, rat. Squirrel! some wooden planks up here that you have to fucking, this part gets buggy. That's why I saved it. Jump these wooden planks here. Sometimes you'll get caught and you'll fall. The gate will move and it's it gets buggy. God bless America. There. 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 Run up a bit. There. Come on! See what I'm talking about? Okay, sorry about that. The, uh... I know it's different. The game wigged out on me. Just froze. Um, so I made it up. The, that's why I saved it. You know, I said it in the... In the just a minute ago, but... It, it does. That part gets really buggy. Uh, so I had to save it. Or, uh, reload and come back up. So let's crack on. Right. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the Vampire Society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain. For their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. 
The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. Freaky man, just keeps getting worse. All right, stay tuned to what, see what happens in the next vid. I got to cut it here. I'm at time. Thank you for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see everybody in the next vid. Peace and hair grease. Let the good times roll.